Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're getting right into this video. We're gonna be creating a really cute marble set with some bling. I'm using my XL tips. These are from Inyo Couture. I believe they're called Extreme Square, but I also use a whole bunch of other brands. These are from, I have some from Tulip as well. And I honestly just use any extra long tips. They're all pretty much the same thing. But the first thing I always do is cut them to size just a little bit. I like the length that they're at already, but the problem is the thumb is just extremely long. Like a way longer than the actual, uh, you know, pointer, middle, ring, and pinky. So I always cut the thumb a little bit so that it's around the same length as the rest of the nails. And I just kind of even them out a little bit. And then I go in and buff, and now I'm going to be applying top coat. I like using Model 1's or Beatles top coat. You can do one to two coats depending on how long the nails are. For example, for a triple extra long set like my nails by dev tips i always do two to three coats because you want to make sure the nails are super strong you can also do a thin layer of a builder gel in a bottle or something like that really quickly this is the inspo picture uh it's just a marble with some nude french tips on the bottom so i'm going to be going in with this color called mike and ike from dnd it's a very old color i've had it a long time but this is exactly the kind of green i needed like a really bright green and then I'm going to be grabbing this color by Madame Glam. It's just a really nice blue. And I'm going to be kind of swirling them together. But you don't want it to be too perfect. Uh, this one's called Lagoon. And then I'm going to be grabbing this color called Fashion Avenue by Igel Beauty. And I'm going to be adding a little bit of that too. So I'm going to be adding more green as I go. But the thing you want to do is just kind of swirl your colors together. And then it's going to create that marble effect. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to be grabbing my Cozy Cashmere Nude Base by iGel Beauty. I really do like this color for certain sets, like a set like this one. And it's just more of a cool toned nude. And I'm going to be going in with two coats of this and then one coat of Rise Nails number 112 on top. That color is very sheer, so it doesn't do much, but it just adds a little extra something. Um, and I'm going to be doing that only on the nails that we're going to do French tips on. And then on the other ones, they're going to be the full marble. So now I'm going to be grabbing my gel application brush. This one is actually from Eno Couture. We're going to be swirling the brush into the gel and we're going to be creating kind of like a natural, uh, really easy marble. So it's just going to swirl the colors naturally on the brush and then you're going to apply it directly on the nail. You're going to make sure you smooth out your sides as you go because you don't want the sides to be lumpy, especially because you're doing such a thick layer of gel. You're, uh, another thing I wanted to say is that you need to cure it at least twice like make sure you're double or triple curing just because you don't want your gel to be too thick and then it not it like wrinkle thank god mine didn't wrinkle at all i got really really lucky um but something else that you could definitely do if you want your ombre or your marble to be more spread out from each other like if you want the colors to spread more on the nail definitely apply a thin layer of uh, some blooming gel that creates the most beautiful marble look as well and the best thing about this type of design is you guys can do this with any color like if you guys have uh some if you guys don't really have ideas for like marble nails or halloween nails imagine like a really pretty marble but with halloween colors maybe like green purple and orange or maybe black white and orange uh, swirled together would be so freaking pretty for fall you can matte the nails out that look so pretty as well so kind of add more colors as you go definitely add uh, some darker colors for more definition you don't want it to look like one color on the nail you definitely want to be able to see the marbly lines so add a little bit of white if you have to add a little bit of some darker colors i added this darker blue and basically just go at it whatever you think um i actually just like ended up going for it and I do end up adding bling as well because uh, the inspo picture that I showed you guys in the beginning doesn't have bling on it, but my customer specifically requested it. That's the thing about me that I noticed is I never really replicate a set 100% exactly like the photo i always end up switching something around or making it my own or the customer will ask for something to be different so i always kind of just add my own touch to it so i did add a bling on this set and i'm just adding more colors to kind of add definition so that the nails don't look so blue and yeah that's all i'm doing here this is literally the easiest marble ever if you guys haven't tried it you definitely should
For the French tip part of the nails, I'm actually going to make it really easy. You're going to go ahead and scoop it just like you would for the other nails, but you're going to kind of already create your French tip outline, like your smile line. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, but you're going to go ahead and just kind of create the smile line so that it makes it easier for you when you have to go clean it up later. So as you can see, it already looks like a French tip, so I'm just cleaning up the sidewalls. Definitely don't want the nails to be lumpy like I mentioned earlier. And I'm cleaning off my brush every single time I wipe the sides so that I'm not just constantly wiping product back on the nail. You know what I mean? Definitely keep some lint-free wipes on your table so that you're able to wipe it off and keep a little cup with some acetone or some alcohol so that you're able to wipe off as you go. So to clean off the smile line, I am going to use acetone. It just works the best, to be honest. I've tried alcohol and it just doesn't work the same. It makes it a little bit harder, especially with really pigmented gel polishes. It's completely impossible to get a really clean smile line with alcohol if you have a really pigmented color. So I am going ahead and just using acetone, again, cleaning up the sides i clean up the sides on one nail per like every few seconds like i clean it probably four to five times just like i mentioned uh it's really really important to keep that really nice shape and yeah so this is how i'm cleaning it up and i'll link this brush it's a really good brush for creating uh french tips like this Next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing my McCart rhinestone gel and I'm going to be going ahead and applying it all over the nail because we're going to be applying some really big gems. You want to make sure you add a little bit extra glue and you want to make sure you're double even triple curing when you're doing this. If you feel like you have to, you could even take the nail off the stand, flip it over and put it in the lamp and uh, make sure it cures from the bottom as well. That's what you should do when you have really big charms like this. And we're just going to be going ahead and sticking the charms on. And I did get these specific charms from, I believe, Shein. And I did put them in my Shein haul that I put a few, few videos back. So I'm going ahead and applying little tiny rhinestones all around and little gold beads as well. You also want to make sure that you leave a little bit of space up top to file the nails down. I don't know if I've ever brought that up before, but it is something I always forget. So uh, make sure to kind of leave yourself some space to file. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other hand. Hand and my Macar rhinestone gel has been working very well for me and what I usually do is just top coat around the stones so that it creates is like an extra barrier but like I mentioned if you're using any type of UV curing gel always don't forget to double triple cure it because trust me you guys sometimes it doesn't cure and the stones will literally pop off so I just wanted to say that Once I'm sure my gels are all the way cured, I go ahead and grab my top coat. This is a not polished gel top coat bottle, which I love the not polished top coat. I used the entire bottle of it, but I did refill it with my iGel Beauty top coat just because I have the big refill bottle. So I just put it in this tube because this not polished bottle holds a lot of top coat. It's one of the biggest top coat bottles I've ever like bought. 
So, uh, yeah, it just holds a nice quantity, so I put it in this one. And I just make sure to apply a nice thick coat of gel. You definitely don't want to go too thin on the layer because you'll be able to see that it's, like, really thin, if you know what I mean. And you also want to make sure to clean up your sides as you go. You can see I'm cleaning all around the nail, making sure there's no lumpy parts or gel polish running to the side or anything. Especially because, you guys, where I live, it's very hot. It's almost 100 degrees every single day, literally every day. And it's already October, so I literally make sure that I am always cleaning up my sides because my gels are so runny. Like, literally, uh, not too runny, but, like, because it's so hot, they kind of just, like, go everywhere. And when it's cold, they thicken up. So, uh, yeah, it's, like, so hot here right now. And I'm just going ahead and filing now. So I always make sure to use a dust collector. You guys, trust me, this changes the game. If you're very serious about doing uh, nails, doing press-ons, doing gel X, whatever it is, invest in your dust collector trust me it's gonna make the biggest difference ever i use the mccart dust collector it's the best one that i've ever tried i okay you guys i don't know if this is like bad but i actually never replaced the filter and i just clean it out myself and it works like brand new every single time so um yeah i just wanted to say that you don't need to like buy a new filter every time it fills up you can just clean it out yourself and then it'll work as good as new so i'm going ahead and gonna uh i just after i'm done filing i just make sure to dust them off and then i'm gonna be putting them into the little box i get these boxes from amazon i just type in cotton filled boxes you definitely want the ones that have the cotton inside of them because they will protect your nails during transit especially you just want to make sure like you know that they're a uh protected and everything you don't want to just throw them in the box like that so i always go ahead and i do that and the thing i'm sticking it on with is double-sided foam tape this is the only thing i use for all of my sets and it works very well my nails don't move while they're in transit or anything i make sure to double stick them and i always 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 make sure to clean them off before i send them and before i take my pictures so you want to make sure that before you take your pictures you always clean your nails off clean your gems off use a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe if you have to to make sure your gems stay shiny for your pictures that's how, if you notice, you can go through my whole entire Instagram, probably not in my older ones, I'm not sure if I used to do it, but definitely for like the past year or two years, I have always made sure to clean my nails before I take videos or pictures of them. And here I am just applying or just making my application kit. I put in instructions, I put a thank you card, alcohol prep pads, a little sticker, I put a little mini homemade cuticle oil, I have a buffer and a little cuticle pusher. So yeah, I always make my cuticle oils myself and I actually have a whole entire video on how to do it. I made it a while ago, but it's the same thing that I do now. And this is the final result. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to, get, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.